First, oil's downward spiral continues with prices falling another 2% on Tuesday. The crude sell-off has been brutal. Prices closed Tuesday just over $30 a barrel, but earlier they fell below $30 for the first time in 13 years. And that's forcing some of the world's biggest oil companies to take drastic steps to keep themselves afloat. UK oil giant BP says it will slash 4,000 jobs. Most of those reductions will take place over two years, affecting BP's oil exploration and drilling business. While well, the plummeting prices of oil and other commodities, along with sluggish demand, is proving almost too much to bear for many countries. Brazil is one of them, where the lack of cash is forcing some cities to cancel annual carnivals and celebrations. Paula Cabral reports. Carnival season is approaching. But Brazilians are in no mood for parades. Commodity exporters have seen demand shrink, prices slump, and inventories swell. That was the case with iron ore, one of Brazil's main exports, and also with key agricultural commodities like soybeans and corn. Brazilians are bracing themselves for what could become the worst recession since the 1930s. This former agriculture minister sees a tough year ahead, but says the devaluation of Brazil's currency, the real, will help agribusinesses to survive the downturn. Uh, we expect a reduction of prices of soybean, corn and cotton. No, no problem with uh, meat in general, beef, uh, poultry, or, and also we expect uh, better prices for sugarcane. Also, the prices of orange juice probably will be better this year than before. But all in all, taking this in consideration, is 2016 going to be better or worse than 2015? It's worse than last year, worse than 2014, but not a Brazilian disaster because of the uh, exchange rates. Uh, even with the prices going out in dollar outside, the, the prices received by farmers will be not bad. Some of the biggest listed companies in Brazil trading their stocks here on Sao Paulo's stock exchange are commodity producers like mining giant Valley, the national oil company Petrobras and several food producers and exporters. This means that the international prices of these products and the global demand for them have a direct impact on financial markets here. Ibovespa, that is the financial corporate index in Brazil has been at its lowest level since 2009. Uh, there are other factors explaining that as corruption, inflation, and the low uh, growth prospects of the country. But commodity prices has dumped it on the stock market. Analysts with Brazil's central bank say they expect the economy to contract by nearly 3% in 2016. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.